Hello world and welcome to the darkest video on my channel. Here is Danny and today we have very easy comparison. Bike without any lights and reflective stickers, then the bike like this one with the stickers and then the bike with the lights and with the stickers. You will see a huge difference between these three. I highly recommend that, that you use both the stickers and the lights. I'm even using the rear strong daylight on my bike because that's just much, much more safe. I just realized how much the reflective accessories can improve our visibility. They can even do more than the lights in certain situations on the road. I'm gonna show you that right now in this video. This is not a paste product placement, but we got 50 sets of these stickers from the beam for our local youth cycling club. So I'm going to install these stickers on their wheels after this test because they turned out to be very, very good. Thank you, the beam. I decided to install three of these stickers on each wheel of my bike and it turned out very, very well. So in the second, you're going to see the bike without any lighting and reflective accessories, then with the stickers and then with the light and the stickers which is just how it's supposed to be. The difference will be huge. Let's do it now. No cyclist here? Yes, he's there. I am cycling right there, but I don't have any lights and stickers. Even though I have white tires on the bike, as soon as I disappear from the main beam of the light of the car, I disappear completely. Number two, the stickers. You can see a huge difference. These reflective accessories make a lot of difference and they are visible from the side and from the back and the front. And this is how it's supposed to be. The bike with the lights, the front and rear and with the reflective accessories. You can see this bike from a huge, huge distance. Important thing, just see the bike from the side. There is a situation when the driver, like right now, only sees the reflective accessories from the side. And now the driver will follow me and overtake me. I'm on the bike with the stickers with no lights. You will see that even though I'm still beyond the beam of the light of the car, you will already see the reflective uh, details. This is very important. This is a normal speed right now. And you can see also that those stickers are spinning with the wheels. You will subconsciously know this is either a cyclist or a motorcyclist maybe. Now the driver will follow the cyclist with the lights. You should never replace the lights with some reflective accessories. But let's just say that your lights, the batteries on them, die. You will still be visible if you have those reflective details. So remember about that. And now we have an easy rider with no stickers and no lights, but at least white tires. If there were no white tires on this bicycle, you would really be surprised how close you should get with your car to the cyclist with the lights of the car in order to see him. There is much less time for reaction. And we'll conclude with a simple comparison. I'm making 20 long steps and I'm gonna stop. You will see the bike with no lights, but at least white tires. You can still see me, but you don't see my face. You don't see my head, right? Then another 20 uh, long steps. That's 40 steps right now. You don't really see me. And then another 20 and we've got 60 steps. You don't see the rider with no reflective details or lights. Now I'm approaching the car again and then the bicycle with no lights but the stickers, 20 long steps, amazing visibility. You can see this is either an airplane or the bike, then another 20 long steps, that will be 40. You can still beautifully see me, right? And then another 20 long steps. Me and my cameraman were actually surprised how far I could get and still be visible to the driver. That's 60 and then I'm gonna do another 10 another 10, another 10, uh, going up to 90 and I could still go on and the driver would see that there are some reflective stickers on the bike. Left side, no stickers, right side, stickers. Can you see the difference? Okay, let's see once again. You can already see the bike with the stickers and now I'm approaching on those white tires without the stickers. Huge difference. And then just the picture, 20 long steps, 40 long steps, 
60 long steps and then 70 with the stickers 80 with the stickers and 90 with the stickers I can tell you by the way how hard it is for the camera to catch the lighting similar to our eye it's never similar to our eye but it's close to we, we've got a very good camera for that uh, you would see much better you would see those stickers from a uh, much wider angle with just the human eye because it's so much better but at least you see the point right that's it uh, very soon on my facebook fan page which is called cycling and mountain biking you will also see a short review of these mirrors uh, and you will be surprised how much you can see on those really, really small accessories. Uh, so that's the opposite thing. That's when you want to see the cars uh, which are approaching and you will see whether they are approaching as they should be with the distance uh, or not so that you can have some time for reaction. This is uh, very, very interesting. Guys, like this video if you find it practical for you and see you very, very soon.